Hi, um, first of all, sorry for the bad camera quality, I'm recording on my computer. Second of all, I'm a little bit sick, so I sound kind of stuffy <laughs> while recording this, so just wanted to say sorry. Uh, now let's get on to the video. Um, another disclaimer, our dog just had puppies, and so if you hear any whining noises, that's where it's coming from. Anywho, uh, hello fellow human beings. Today I am making extendable and retractable wings. As you can see, they folded out for an 8 foot wingspan and they fold in for a 4 foot width. Uh, the wings are mounted onto a backpack I got at Dollar Tree of all places. It was kind of crazy finding it there. Uh, this is the picture that I based my cosplay on. This is the Minecraft YouTuber Grian. A link to his channel will be in the description. Uh, now on how I made the wings. This is how I was originally planning on making the wings. I found this design on YouTube by multiple creators. Links will be in the description. Uh, anyway, I put it together with popsicle sticks and wire just so I could see how it all worked. I decided not to do it this way because it, originally I wanted to attach strings to it, it was, so that it was easier to open and close. But I couldn't find good spots to attach the string to open or close it, so I ended up going with a design that looks more like this. To start off, I taped a whole bunch of pieces of printer paper together so that I would have enough to draw a life-size version. Then, I started with measuring how long I wanted each piece to be and drawing it down on the paper. Every now and then, I would lay down to see if I liked the size. Also, look at my sister's cute little dog. Um, anyway, I would adjust it to make it perfect. To be honest, I just made up random measurements that looked right. I'll show you the measurements soon. My art skills are amazing, as you can see. Uh, the sizes are kind of hard to read, so I'm going to tell you. Oh, all of the P's stand for part. Okay, so part one uh, is two foot six inches part two is two foot part three is 21 inches and five eighths or two foot minus the gap between part four and part five i hope that makes sense um part four is 11 inches part five is eight and a half inches and part six is eight inches um, i hope all of that made sense if not comment down and I can answer any questions. Okay, anyway, I found this leftover trim in our supplies, but one by twos would work just fine. Right now, I'm laying it out to make sure I had enough wood. I ended up having the perfect amount. I then began measuring it all and marking it so that I could cut it. Okay, so I actually ended up finding these pieces which will be better for the back plate. Well, not the back plate, but what attaches to the back plate, essentially. So um, I don't actually have to cut out the part six pieces. So I'm going to, where is it? Ah, this one here. This piece here, I'm going to have to figure out just how to cut out the part five pieces because I don't need the part six ones because this is what these are going to be. I have to cut these down to eight inches, but Otherwise, yeah. I then proceed to cut everything down to the right size. I then laid it all out and started measuring and marking where I wanted to drill holes. I then drilled where I put the dots. Then I put it all together with nuts and bolts I got. I got 1 fourth inch nuts and bolts. I also put washers in between the wood and the metal. In total, I used 14 nuts and bolts and 28 washers. To attach the wings to the back plate, we'll get to that in a second, I used 1 fourth inch bolts that were longer than the rest. They also acted as a stop so the wings wouldn't fold in too much. made that hole and that hole the top one i don't know how this is gonna work i'm kind of just making this up as i go so i'm going to assemble the wing parts onto my back plate which i also cut shorter to fit in the backpack that i got so yeah here i am attaching the frames to the back plate 
What I used for the back plate is kind of funny. It's a piece of metal from a broken bread maker that we had. I saw it and was like, wait, that'll work for my cosplay. So here we are using a piece of metal from a broken bread maker. <laughs> for you, you could use a piece of metal like I did, or you could use a piece of wood that's the right size. It, it doesn't really matter. Here is the final product all attached to the back plate. Here I am poking holes through the backpack for the bolts to go through so that I could attach the wings to the backpack on the outside. I couldn't figure out how to attach it on the inside of the back plate, so this is all I could think of to get it attached to the back backpack. As you can see, part six is not attached to the frame. That's because it's attached to the back plate on the inside of the backpack. I am attaching the frames to the bolts that go through the backpack and part six. You're going to want to put nail polish on the bolts like I did so that they don't twist off. You don't need to worry about getting on the wood because it's going to be all covered up. Once it's on, you're going to put the washer back on and then the nut and then do this to the rest of the nuts and bolts. Okay, now that we have the frame on, I took some spare curtains I had and sewed them on so that I could glue the feathers on. Here I am sewing the fabric to the correct shape I wanted. I did this by folding it how I thought it would look good, then having someone hold it up so that I could see and adjust it. I did this on both sides of the wings, front and back. Then I laid all of my feathers out on the fabric to see how I liked it. This is how it turned out looking after I laid it all out. So this is what it looks like after gluing on some of the feathers. I actually forgot to film putting on the first ones, but it's fine. When gluing the feathers on, it's best to start from the bottom and work up. I didn't do that, and when I got to the top, it was really hard to glue the feathers on under top, underneath the other ones. When I bought the feathers, I only bought one, one color blue, but I ended up needing more than I had, and they were out of the same color, so I ended up having to get a lighter one. I actually ended up loving the two colors together, and it's one of my favorite parts. When you buy feathers, try not to buy bent ones. They make it really hard to glue on and to make look good. Another thing I did to make my wings look good was instead of the eight to six to eight inch feathers I had been using was to use the two to four inch feathers for the very top. I don't know why, but it made it look so much better. To glue the feathers on, I just all I used was a standard low temp hot glue gun and about 30 glue sticks. It was a lot of glue. Once I was done gluing the small feathers on, I trimmed the shorter feathers so that I could put a boa on top. Well then, um, <laughs> you know, this is so cool. Here are the wings when they're folded. I absolutely love these things. It has been my dream for a while now to have wings. On a side note, uh, in these pictures you can see that I sewed a waist strap onto the backpack. This was one, to prevent the wings from moving forward too much and raising off of my back, and two, it was also for the character design. Here's what they look like from the back again, and once again, wow folded. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I plan on taking a photo shoot this winter, so keep a lookout for that. Bye! Hi, um, I don't normally do this and I don't normally ask, but if you would please, please consider subscribing, it would be, it would mean the world to me, honestly. And just the fact that 
so many of you have subscribed to me it has been amazing and I want to thank you so much for everything and if you made it this far into the video thank you so much it really means a lot to me um so thank you again for watching i will see you next time bye